Hi everyone. In this, we are going to solve for positive integer solutions for this equation. A plus B plus C equals ABC. Now here, the left hand side and right hand side, they are both in cyclic symmetry. So because of this, we are going to sort and assume, we are going to let, suppose, they all are in cyclic symmetry. So we are going to assume that C is greater than or equal to b is greater than or equal to a now you can assume by yourself anything that that depends on us so let's see if c <clears throat> is greater than or equal to b is greater than or equal to a is greater than or equal to 1 all right so this is what we have let let c is greater than or equal to b is greater than or equal to a is greater than or equal to one and they are all positive integers don't forget this is led by us so you can assume anything if you can assume a is largest b is second and c is smallest uh, and they are all greater than or equal to one <clears throat> because they are all positive integers so order can be decided by you it can be led by you you can assume it any ways you like you can suppose it so now we can say <clears throat> then because we can say a plus b plus c are in cyclic symmetry so we're going to get an inequality now what's that inequality because c is largest and a is the smallest number now we have two ways we have two ways the first one you have to look at it a is smaller than c <clears throat> here a is smaller than c or it's equal to c so you can even say c plus c plus c that is you can have c plus c plus c is 3c so that is less than or equal to 3c why because a is smaller than c b is also smaller than or equal to c so you can substitute c plus c plus c is equal to 3c and you have the inequality less than or equal to 3c but we also know that b is greater than or equal to a and c is also greater than or equal to a yes so we have the second case the second way is greater than or equal to a plus a plus a you can have 3a is that right both the cases you can go ahead with so now you have two ways there are two ways for us to choose the first way is 3c and the second way is 3a now you have to pay attention to the symbols one is less than or equal to another one is greater than or equal to so if we choose first one what do we get because a plus b plus c is equal to abc we get abc is less than or equal to 3c so i can write it like that a b c is less than or equal to 3c yes okay and the second way what do we get a plus abc abc is greater than or equal to 3a all right now <clears throat> you can cancel a's on both side in this so you have bc is equal to 3 if you cancel out you have bc is equal to 3 and if you cancel out now the problem here there's a problem when you cancel out a's and bc is equal to 3 the problem comes out because b and c are positive integers and b times c should be greater than or equal to 1 so i'm going to just say if you have suppose like this b c is greater than or equal to 3 there's a problem because b c should be greater than or equal to 1 if we choose second case we cannot use it we cannot use it definitely we cannot use it so strike off so <clears throat> we cannot use the second case because the first one has a b now if you if you cancel out c's you have a b is less than or equal to 3 in the first case a b is less than or equal to 3 the biggest difference between these two cases is it has limited 
it has limited cases or limited solutions you can say but for the second case it has unlimited solutions so here comes the problem because there is some problem we have to delete the second one we, we, do, we there are unlimited solutions for this one we have limited solutions so we can find it out so we have to delete the second case now the first case is the best case we can go ahead with that is a b is less than or equal to 3 so i'm going to write that here a b is less than or equal to 3 <clears throat> all right now what do we get the first let's let's say the first case when a b is equal to 3 all right or i'm going to write write this back again here first one a b is equal to 3 so what will be a and b what about uh, a and b can be 1 and 3 so we can write it as a is 1 b is 3 and what about c c 2 c is equal to 4 c c is equal to 4 divided by 2 that's 2 so you've got stop don't be happy <laughs> because <clears throat> C is greater than or equal to C is greater than or equal to B but here 2 is smaller than 3 then this case we have to delete all right so what are we going to do sorry no we're not going to go ahead with that case because here c is smaller than b but it has to be c is greater than or equal to b what about the second case let's take the second case a b is equal to 2 let's try this so now 2 can be separated into 1 and 2 so your a can be equal to 1 and b can be equal to 2 and c is equal to 3 the same way now 3 is bigger than 2 so yes you can go ahead with this solution yes okay what about the third case we have third case where a b is equal to 1 the last one because a is greater than or equal to 1 and b is also greater than or equal to 1 so a b is equal to 1 now what do we get a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c so we can substitute c here one and one a and b are equal so one plus one is two plus c so what do you have here c is equal to two plus c is that possible c is equal to two plus c no not possible so you have to pay attention that this should also be deleted no this case is under c is greater than or equal to b is greater than or equal to a is greater than or equal to one you can assume whatever you like like a is the largest b is smallest or b is the largest c is the smallest you can assume it in any way this is this is the condition we have taken in general now for this thing as you know so there are six cases just like this because under this case we only have one solution under this case we only have one solution so there are six cases under six solutions so what are those six solutions you can write it as a b c the first solution one two and three that's what we have the second solution you can have one three two third solution two one three fourth solution two three one fifth solution you can have three one and two and the sixth solution you can have it as three two one so all these one two three four five six solutions for six cases we have only taken first case only one case here one case one solution six cases six solutions all right so if you have any suggestions you can write it in the comment box thank you so much for joining bye bye take care